the Airbus A321. This is so fancy. What's up guys, it's Diera. I'm back with another video and today we're vlogging. Whether you're new or true, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we are back with another flight attendant vlog and we're getting ready to go to work. It is currently 5.15 in the morning. I've been up since 4.15 and that shows me that it definitely takes me longer than an hour to get ready for work when I thought an hour would be enough time. So we're getting ready to get dressed. I made some Earl Grey tea this morning. I just needed a little pick me up. Um, but we're going to get dressed and pack my lunch. So I will be right back. Let's get into this uniform. <laughs> All right, beautiful people, it's time to go. Today what we are packing, I got some blueberries. I've got my Better Joe's Greek salad. We also got some pizza. And I'm gonna bring this enchilada that I got from a place called Gadzooks here in Phoenix. I'm only making a two day trip, but I'm not eating any breakfast, so I'm gonna bring some food, food so I can eat it throughout the day and tomorrow. These are also so good. They're the Siete um, Dairy-Free Queso Puffs. They almost remind me of skins in a weird way. Oh, and we're also gonna pack an applesauce. You guys, it is currently 5.28. Your girl needs to get going. So I'm gonna fill up my water bottle and we're gonna get on our way. Also, I think I told you guys, but if I didn't, we're working with Alexis again, which is my girly. And so it's gonna be a good trip, easy day. We're also gonna be working on the Airbus A321 on the second day of this trip. And I've never flown on that plane, so if you guys wanna see what it's like, stay tuned because we'll get into that. All right, y'all, let's get to work. Guys, we made it to work. I swept my edges out. I don't know why Sky Harbor is so hot, but summer's coming. Y'all can chill on the heat in the airport. Anyway, this morning we're on a 737 Max, and we've got TV screens, which we love. And I'm working with Lex. You want to say hi, boo? Hey, Mom. <laughs> Me and Lex are working first class. She'll be in the galley. I'll be working purser. And yeah, she said we're the dynamic duo. I, 10 out of 10, recommend working with your friends, y'all. I swear it doesn't ever feel like work. But anyway, I'm hot because I've been running for my life. I'm getting ready to do my safety checks. And then we're probably going to board in another... Uh, oh, probably not even another 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, but yeah, 737 Max, they're back on the line, babes. <laughs> Let's go. You guys, I don't even think I told you where we're going today. We made it to Chicago and we have one more leg to Cincinnati. However, we have a three hour sit here in Chicago. And just so you guys know, we don't get paid for a sit time. And that's what you guys call layovers when you have a connection and you sit at the airport for a few hours. So we have to do that for three and a half. And then we get to deadhead to Cincinnati on a regional aircraft. So shout out to all my regional babes. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for supporting the channel and furthering the flight attendant journey. Anyhow, let's get going. We're going to the crew room. I am, yes. Crew room, possibly nap. And we'll see what else happens, y'all. ORD never gets old with these little lights. <laughs> We're heading to our deadhead flight on the C7G. I don't know what that really stands for, but I'll show y'all the plan when we get there. I'm wondering if we'll have to check our bags because the aircraft might be so small and my bag is stuffed. Stuffed, I tell you. But we're going all the way to the F concourse and I've got on these boots. Send help. <laughs> it is teensy around here. Oh, baby. It's me almost touching the ceiling. <laughs> I'm a tall girl in these boots. I don't know if my bag's gonna fit. Yeah, right. Yo, we got on this plane. It's so tiny. It's the CRJ 550. 
Y'all never see me vlogging with passengers because I'm working. But right now we're deadheading and I wanted to show y'all this is the CRJ 55 or 550. Yeah. Look, 5500, so 550. <laughs> one of those. And I thought this was so cool. They have a little storage compartment where you store all your bags. Alexis got upgraded without me, but she doesn't know I got upgraded too. So I'm gonna go sit with Alexis, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> I know You're you. To I know you said you it's wanted okay. this middle seat, y'all. It's so funny. my gift to my my junior boo. <laughs> yes, I'm a junior mama <laughs> next to Alexis. Just just so y'all know, she's seen mama's status. There, there. We like to see it though, but this plane is so cute. It's so compartmentalized. But again, shout out to all my regional babes. Y'all work so hard. You deserve every penny. Okay. But um, we're getting ready to take off shortly. What's interesting is boarding for smaller aircrafts is so quick and they usually only give, what was it, like 20 minutes? If, if that. that. Yeah. If that. So we're getting ready to um, close up shop. I think the flight attendant is putting away all the stuff. It's so crazy. Great day. But I can't drink and I probably won't eat anything because we already ate. But let's get let's get on the road or let's get in the sky let's get on the clouds yeah let's get on the clouds let's get in the air to cincinnati i will see you guys when we get there Very, very chilly. Anyway, here's the room, guys. We've got a double bed. We've got a little chair. We've got a mirror, a desk, a TV. We've got a, we've got a fridge so I can store my food. We've got a closet. And here's the banyo. I love using these little hand soaps to wash my brushes. Oh, this is a little shower cap. We'll definitely take that. Thank you so much. And then here's the shower. Oh, nothing crazy. You guys, this layover is so short. And no one ever told me the Cincinnati airport was so huge. So tomorrow our showtime is at 6.20 in the morning, which is, I believe, 4.20 a.m. in Phoenix. And also... Um, our van time is at 5.30 a.m. because they only run on an hour and a half hour. So we're almost 50 minutes before we even have to be at work. We have to be at the van. And this is what flight attendants talk about when we say we should be paid for boarding. I should be paid for the time I need to check in at the airport right away. Like I shouldn't, I should be paid at 5.30, honestly. Honestly, true. Like, um, but yeah, like our duty day today was like almost nine hours and we got paid for four and a half. So there's just so many things within the flight attendant world that just are a little dated when it comes to the pay scale. And I talk to my friends about this a lot. I think back in the day, there was just so much emphasis on how great your travel benefits were that maybe a lot of people didn't care about the pay. But honey, I want enough money to where I don't need these benefits. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to travel in luxury and not always have to fly standby if I don't want to. Don't get me wrong, I don't take my benefits for granted ever. I'm so grateful for them because I've been able to do a lot of things and see a lot of places, but I want to be able to live comfortably. I'm a grown woman who should be making a livable wage 
and I make great money hourly as a flight attendant, but I've been here eight years. I shouldn't have to work 160 hours. I cannot work 40 hours a week like an average person. Anyway, this is a tangent on pay. I know sometimes people are curious about how much flight attendants make, and you can always look those things up on Glassdoor, I believe, um, but I personally don't discuss my exact amounts for personal reasons. I also don't really say what company I work for. If you know, you know, but I personally just don't feel the need to say those things. Um, and would appreciate if people refrain from saying the name in the comments, but you know, people are going to do what they want to do. So anyway, y'all, we're in Cincinnati. I just wanted to chit chat with y'all and let you know we made it safely. We're getting ready to wind down. It's about six o'clock and I think I'm just going to hit the gym and then hit the hay. It's been a long morning. I've been up since 4.15 a.m. So you girls tired, but the dead head went smooth and now we just get to rest and recoup and get ready to do this again tomorrow. And again, we're gonna be on the Airbus A321. And so I've not been hearing great things, unfortunately, but we're gonna see for ourselves. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is currently 5.15 a.m., which means it's 3.15 a.m. back home. And we are getting ready to go to the airport. And this walk at the Cincinnati airport it's so intense like it's at least a 15 minute walk so i'm wearing my boots today but i'm kind of thinking if i should change i'm wearing my flats for the walk decisions to see. we made it to the plane well i made it to the plane my crew's not here yet they were getting coffee or something but i got a little breakfast sandwich and i just had the worst experience ever the lady was cussing out the customer the customer was somebody she didn't have no glove on, child. I said, I don't even know if I want to eat this food when the energy ain't right. So, Lord, please cover me. Let this food be for the nourishment of my body. Please protect me against all un uh, negative energies. Amen. Anyway. Well, you're here already. I'm here. <laughs> There's no heat. So, brace y'all a sandwich. Just a breakfast sandwich, egg and cheese. Okay. Girl, it was a mess over there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, y'all, we made it to the plane. There's no heat. These working conditions are unfair, unfit. But we move. Hopefully they can get the power turned on here shortly. Or I mean the, the heat turned on here shortly. So we are working two legs today. I am making my sandwich. One to Chicago and then the last to Phoenix. So let's get going. We back on the max again. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll see y'all in Chicago. You guys! Okay, so we made it to Chicago and we're on the Airbus A321. Look at this. This is so fancy. Okay, let's just see it. This is giving Lux. Look at the little marble. Can y'all see that? It's cute. It's giving a little privacy screen. We've got an extra bathroom. Oh, I'm in love. Look at the galley. Look at this. First class galley. This is Alexis's little territory. Okay, this is the galley. They got the little countertops. This is so nice. Like, wait, that's your seat? Yeah, yeah. So oh. I sit over here and gotta make sure all this is locked up. Uh, Bri, I need to see your jump seat. All right, y'all, let's go look at the, the back galley because this is where all the flight attendants feel like, mm, I don't know. So let's see what we're talking about up here. This is actually really pretty. Hi, I'm Diera. Nice to meet you, Monique. Oh my God. Okay, so this is what everybody hates. The jump seat on the bathroom. How many flight attendants does it take to open the bathroom? That's crazy. Oh my god. So does anyone sit here for a takeoff? Or you both sit oh, one and one? On this one. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind coming back. Oh my god. Y'all look how many seats. At least they have screens. We love to see it. Well, this is the Airbus A321 and it's my first time. And I kind of like it. But I don't know if I like the galley. But I love how spacious it is. Alright, let me get back to my cabin and do my pre-flights. I'll see y'all in a bit.
You guys, we made it home to Phoenix. I've got my glasses on, so you know that means I worked hard on today's flight. Look at the lights. I am just a fan of the A321 Neo. However, it does have its quirks, guys. I had some feedback from the passengers regarding like the seats and stuff, and you know, with new fleet, you'll just have to live and learn. But anyway, there's boarding music playing, even though we're deplaned. I will see you guys at the house. Friends, we made it home. Uh, these boots kicked my butt, but but I'm so happy I wore them because it was freezing in Cincinnati and today we went through Chicago it was just as cold but you guys guess what time it is it's 1 p.m. 1 p.m. on a Sunday I never get home this early usually when I work two days I get home closer to like 10 p.m. at midnight but man that was a nice little two day it was early early last two days 4 a.m. wake ups. But when you get to get home by 1 p.m., how can you lose? How can you lose? Anyway, we made it home safe and sound. I cannot thank God enough every time I make it home safely. I'm deciding if I want to go out. It's Sunday, and in Phoenix, there's a lot to do in the city, especially on a Sunday. You can do brunch, you can do a little hookah lounge, you can do. I don't do clubs. I don't do clubs. And who am I kidding? I'm probably going to lay it down. I need to know in the comments, like, for the girlies and the guys who are in, you know, we're a little past young adult, or maybe we're still young adult, or 30s young adult, I don't know. I think I'm a young adult. I think, I feel like I'm still a kid. I'm just a girl sometimes, you know, just making it happen. Even though I'm a boss, I still can rely on I'm just a girl when it comes to certain things. Anyway, I'm rambling. You guys, I, oh, look at these, hold on. I got the prettiest little flowers. Are they so adorable? I love to keep fresh flowers in my house. And so that is my arrangement for the week. It's so nice as a girl who lives alone to just come home to beautiful flowers and your place exactly how you left it. 10 out of 10, do recommend. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the A321. If you've ever flown it, if you like Airbus. Some people ask, am I a Boeing girl? Am I, a, am I an Airbus girl? And you know, I'm still figuring it out. But in my fleet, we have primarily Boeing, so I'm kind of biased. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. We have hit 20K. I can't believe we hit 20K. It's really so shocking, but I'm so, so grateful. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.